Welcome to this video on if-else statements in Java. In these programs I'm going to be looking at the constructs themselves. But this program starts off by asking the user for their name. They then get asked for their age, which comes in as a string. So to be able to use that as a number, we need to convert it to an integer. We're now creating a variable called freedom and freedom is set to be empty nothing between the quotes now we're going to check if the age is greater than or equal to 60 if it is greater than or equal to 60 freedom is going to be set to a new line that's the slash n and the text you're entitled to a freedom pass a freedom pass is a free bus pass in London else, so if they're not aged 60 or more, it's going to start with a new line and you are not entitled to a freedom pass. We're then going to show a dialog box that says hello, whatever the age was you entered, year old, plus the name, plus the text freedom. So let's see this in action. First of all we're going to ask for the name of the person using the program. It's going to ask for our age, so I'm going to put in 63 and it says, hello 63 year old Andy, you're entitled to a freedom pass. Alternatively, I might have a lower age. I might, I'm going to be 21. So, hello 21 year old Andy, you are not entitled to a freedom pass. Oh bother, I'll have to continue paying for the buses. Now notice that we've just got one command here and the if and else determine which of these one commands gets executed. And the way it knows that is by checking the condition between the brackets between the age greater than or equal to 60. Now let's see a rather better version of using this construct. Here what I'm doing is adding brackets in. Now that isn't strictly necessary as you saw in the previous version of the program, but it does make it easy for you to add commands later on if you want to, and it also makes the code a bit more readable. So here we're being asked for our age. The age is being converted to an integer. We're checking whether the age is greater than or equal to 21. If it is greater than or equal to 21, we're going to say hello wrinkly. If it's not, we're going to output you know nothing, because of course all youngsters are ignorant. And if you believe that, you deserve it. So let's see this program in action. How old am I? 21. Hello Wrinkly it says. Now let's try it again with 18 and now it says you know nothing. The whole thing has worked perfectly. Finally we're going to look at what happens if you have many commands to process with an if statement. Those just go between the curly brackets in the previous Aegist program. So here, if it's a boy, you should wear blue, it's traditional. Else, you should wear pink, it's traditional. Now let's see what happens. This program asks whether I'm a boy or a girl. I'm a boy, so I'm going to enter boy, and it says you should wear blue, it's traditional. But what happens if I type in girl? Okay, you should wear pink, it's traditional. Fine. What happens if I enter gibberish? Not difficult for me to do. It says I should wear pink. That's because it's only checking to see whether the sex entered is boy. If it isn't boy, 
than the else gets uh, carried out. And since gibberish is not the word boy, that may be what goes through their heads, but it's not the case in the program, what gets executed is you should wear pink. The you should wear blue bit only gets executed if the user enters B-O-Y, exactly B-O-Y, and in lower case. If they enter it with a capital B, that won't work, and you'll be asked to wear pink.